Hey guys and welcome to the Domain Hunter Gatherer video guide series. In this video I'll be showing you how to easily find your own bunch of completely free aged Web 2.0 accounts on popular Web 2.0 and blogging sites such as Tumblr, WordPress, Blogspot and more. The best part about this whole process is that it takes seconds to set up and the whole hunting part is done completely automatically. To start with we will be going to the Web 2.0 Hunter tab up here. Now here we can see there is a search keyword control. We can use this to enter in our keywords that Domain Hunter Gatherer will use to find Web 2.0 and blogging accounts related to those keywords. If you already have a list of accounts that you wish to check for availability, you can do this by utilizing the check page list button. With this you can load in a text file containing your, your list of accounts and DHG will cut out the searching part of the process and just check the whole list for availability. In this example I'll be using the keyword search option and use some keywords relating to cars just as an arbitrary example. Okay, So I'm going to type them in and what we do is we put each um, keyword in separated by a comma. Now there does not need to be a space between um, the comma and the word so it's, it's not grammar we're looking for here it's simply um, the comma tells DHG um, where one keyword stop starts or stops uh, and starts and stops. So I'm gonna stick in a couple more here. Uh, okay now all you need to do is click the button to search and you'll get the list here. This is just so that you can see whether you've entered the, the keywords incorrectly or not. So if you've used something else besides a comma or you've missed out the comma entirely you, you'll notice here because the keywords won't look correct so you don't need to do any um, direct analysis of these or anything just quick glance over them make sure that they're all um, separated as they should be and then accept them now at this point DHG will do all the work for you you can just sit back and let it do all the heavy lifting um, now what you'll see is straight away it's doing the, the searching the search progress is um, 460 out of 7600. 7600 is how many searches it's going to have to do. And so far it's found, four, well, say 5,000 search results. Of those, there's 4,800 um, unique results. So it's taken the duplicates out for you already there. And out of those um, five or 6,000 uh, search results, there are just over 11, well, 1,200 and it's going up that fast. There's 1300 now um, unique Web 2.0 accounts. So it's not only um, taking out the duplicate search results, but it's then finding the account that those search results are on and removing the duplicates for those. And now down here, we can see that so far it's checked just over 300 of those. And so far it's not found any Web 2.0 accounts but it is fairly early on because it's only just sort of 12 or 13 percent through the whole testing process and you'll find as it goes on it will generally find the, the web 2.0 accounts in chunks. So Domain Hunter Gatherer will um, continue on searching through Google, Yahoo and Bing to find as many accounts to test in as short amount of time as possible. Uh, this is all happening in real time doing all of the searching, duplicate removal and finding the accounts linked with the results. As I've said, all of this is happening in real time. It's discarding any duplicate accounts and instantly checking any new accounts found. Because of this, the whole process is very streamlined and very quick compared to doing it all manually. Um, due to the nature of these accounts, all of them will be aged. Uh, they were found via the search results, so they should be uh, indexed or at least have been indexed recently. And they generally will have um, reasonable to good linking profiles. Uh, as well as other good stats to go along with that. And th this is the, really is the beauty of these domains. They have a great history on very authoritative domains, um, but most of all, they are completely free. Now, because of the nature though, for each keyword entered, you may only find a few accounts, so it may be a good idea to enter in more than one search keyword as I have done here uh, and leave it running overnight or on a VPS so that you can come back later to a decent sized list of accounts to check on. Um, if you enter in a lot of keywords obviously the whole process can take a number of hours or more to finish but with just one or two keywords it shouldn't take too long 
So rather than just sit and wait for this process to continue, I'll cut the video here and come back soon as it's finishing just so you can see how many domains can be found. So now we have the list of domains, we can do all of the usual saving for later use using these controls here. We can analyze the domains to find out the page rank age, whether they're listed in search engines and all the different social stats and things like that. Um, we can also filter the uh, list by you know, minimum page rank or um, age, things like that. Obviously you, you'll want to do the analyzing before applying filters for stats like that. And uh, so just to check out the quality of these accounts I'll quickly do an analyze now just to show you what that's like. You see straight away you start seeing the, the page ranks come up whether they're indexed in Yahoo, Google, or the social stats, things like that. Um, also the Mars and Majestic stats and their Alexa rank. Also it will give the age of the domain and this is all, all to go in hand, hand in hand with um, the information that was already there such as how long the, uh, the account name is in uh, characters and such like. So now that's going to go through and continue on. So yeah. Oh, we can see there there's one with a page rank of four that's probably worth getting. The page rank of minus one um, doesn't mean that anything has gone wrong as such. The page rank actually goes from minus one to ten, where naught means that it's the lowest amount of page rank, but it has actually got some page rank. Minus one just means that it either doesn't have any page rank or it's lost its page rank. So if the site has uh, minus one, it's generally... Um, not considered trustworthy in the eyes of Google's PageRank algorithm. But as PageRank hasn't actually been updated since 2013, it's, it's quickly becoming um, a less and less used stat as far as um, the usability of a, a domain or an account on a Web 2.0 uh, website. Generally what I'd look for is something with a listed age because that means that it's had some content that's been um, uh, listed in the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine. I'll tend to go for something that is still indexed in Google. If it's got uh, any links whatsoever in the Google Links column, then that's a definite bonus. Even if it's one, you'll find some of the biggest sites on the Internet will only have a handful of links as far as Google reports. Um, so, yeah, there we can see that there's some accounts with decent page rank. I'm sure if we go to um, Domain Authority, Oh, no, they're all going to have high domain authority. We see that a lot of them have good page authority and good majestic stats with the, the trust flow being very high and very similar to the citation flow. That means that one is probably a very good worthwhile um, blog to snag. It's also indexed in Google and Yahoo. So that would be a very good one to, to register. If you want to see how to register your domain, there will be a link in the playlist for this on uh, which shows you exactly how to register your web 2.0 accounts um, that DHG has found. So that's a quick run through of how to use the web 2.0 hunter. The web 2.0 hunter is included as part of the premium version of domain hunter gatherer that is currently available for just £10 a month. With this you have unlimited use and no restrictions whatsoever. On top of this there's a role in 30 day money back guarantee so if at any time you decide you don't want great free um, accounts on massively authoritative sites and just let me know and you'll receive your latest payment back in full. With your premium version you also get unlimited access to the domain auction hunter with no adverts, no limitations and no restrictions. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding this video you can post them in the comments section or create a support ticket in the members area or even email me at support at domainhuntergatherer.com. Once again thanks for watching and have a great day.